To be honest, I don't know how he can show his face at Chelsea ever again after this. Surely there's no way he's lasting another season at Chelsea. The club really should be looking at getting him out of the club as soon as possible. What's going on guys? It's Crimson Cage here and for the first time in probably two or three years welcome back to another video now today's video i'm going to be talking about the backlash surrounding the argentinian national team over something truly shocking now for those who don't pay attention to football or soccer as americans call it argentina played colombia in the copa america final which is basically the south american version of the euros and spoiler alert argentina won the game and thus won the tournament to absolutely no surprise when you consider that they're the reigning world champions of national football football. However, the reputation of the Argentinian national team as well as their entire country is probably tarnished for the foreseeable future because a live stream on Instagram captured the team singing an offensive song aimed at the French national team. So here's the video. Now I have the translation of exactly what was said in the song and the translation goes like this. Listen, spread the word. They play in France but they are all from Angola. They are going to run well. They like to sleep with trans people. Their mum is Nigerian. Their dad is Cameroonian but on the passport it says French. What? What the fuck? Now let me break this down. The parts they play in France but they are all from Angola. Their mum is Nigerian. Their dad is Cameroonian but on the passport it says French. This basically implies that they're not French because their parents were born in another country which is just plain stupid. Like if you're born in France you are a French citizen. How can you be born and raised in France but not be French because your parents weren't? Where's the logic in that? Now the line they like to sleep with trans people is absolutely 100% directed towards killing Mbappe because Mbappe was allegedly dating a trans woman by the name of Ines Rowe. I'm pretty sure I pronounced that name incorrectly but we'll move on. The backlash of the video was immediate. Many people on social media, primarily Twitter as always, are going after the Argentinian national team as well as their entire country saying that they're all essentially racist. One of the main people that got caught singing this song is a player by the name of Enzo Fernandez who plays for Chelsea and this all happened on his live stream. Now, obviously he's being investigated by his own club over this because why wouldn't you be? I mean, you're singing essentially a racist song. So obviously the club are going to have to look into it. Some of his own French teammates have now unfollowed him. They're all calling him out on it and rightfully so. Enzo's teammate, Wesley Fofana, who is a French centre-back, reacted to the video saying, Football in 2024, uninhibited racism. To be honest, I don't know how he can show his face at Chelsea ever again after this. Surely there's no way he's lasting another season at Chelsea. The club really should be looking at getting him out of the club as soon soon as possible. To be fair, he hasn't really been good for Chelsea since he's arrived. Enzo did release an apology which says, I want to apologise sincerely for a video posted on my Instagram channel during the national team celebrations. The song includes highly offensive language and there is absolutely no excuse for these words. I stand against discrimination in all forms and apologise for getting caught up in the euphoria of our Copa America celebrations. That video, that moment, those words do not reflect my beliefs or my character. I am truly sorry. Now it's a good apology and it's good that he apologised but it's safe to say that the camaraderie between Enzo and the Chelsea players affected by this is at best fractured potentially beyond repair. Enzo along with the rest of the players singing that song will probably be banned from football for a few games and they absolutely deserve it I mean they can have no complaints whatsoever. The last thing I anticipated would happen in the midst of a historic victory is some of the players singing a racist song about other players in 2024 but unfortunately as always racism just seems to creep its way back into sport.
thoughts and it doesn't look like it's going away anytime soon so i mean seriously though why after winning copper america would you randomly start singing an offensive song towards another country it's just so random and it's so dumb like imagine if spain who just won the euros started singing offensive songs about iran just for no reason it makes no sense as someone who was actually rooting for argentina to beat france in the world cup final i want to preface this i was actually rooting for england all the way but they lost to france in the semi-final so then in the final i root for argentina and not only did i root for them in the world cup i also rooted for them in the copper america i'm just ashamed and disgusted at those players for doing this like to be fair though the only reason i root for argentina was because of messi so that when he gets his world cup he's essentially completed football as was many people but it's safe to say that less people will support argentina going forward along with me because i'm not going to support a team that feels the need to make racist songs towards another country for no reason but anyway it's been your boy crimson cage i'm sorry if i'm a bit rusty but obviously i've not made a video in like two or three years but i'm gonna get back into making videos now so you're gonna see a lot more of me but anyway it's been your boy crimson cage and deuces but wait there's more guys there's been an update to this situation now some of you won't believe it some of you won't be surprised but it appears that enzo is not gonna face any punishment because he's just been made the vice captain of chelsea what 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 what? what? Oh my god! Wow! Tell me my eyes aren't deceiving me fam. These men are taking the piss out of a public toilet. Jaden Sancho gets suspended for publicly criticising the manager. But Enzo can sing a racist song and then three weeks later gets promoted to being the vice captain of the team. Where is the logic in that? Bear this in mind, last time I checked, the club are still investigating Enzo for his actions. So if that's the case, why would the manager promote him to being the vice captain of the team? The same club that started a no to hate campaign saying that there's no room for discrimination in football is now the same club that promoted a player who three weeks earlier was singing a racist song about some of the players in the French national team. The only reason I can think of as to why they're being lenient with Enzo is because Chelsea paid £100 million for him and if they were to sell him they would lose to me at least £40 million which would be a big loss for them. I see a few people defend the usage of the song saying that nothing that was said in the song was inaccurate but why target those players specifically to me it seems like the reason for it was because they're black why didn't the song target players like Griezmann who has German ancestry I'm not saying anybody should be on the receiving end of this song because nobody should be I don't understand what it is about the French team that the Argentinian team hates so much despite the fact that they beat the French team in the World Cup final was the song racist yes did Enzo have any malicious intent no should Enzo be suspended from football for a number of games yes are the people that are defending this stupid yes but anyway now i'm done with today's video it's been your boy crimson and deuces again Bye.